Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about a couple of things, uh, the build that I was doing, kind of righteous fire build, and also talk about how you can have multiple golems, because some people are surprised that I have two golems, and you can actually have up to three golems. Uh, and uh, what that does, basically, because you can actually become very, very tanky with that. And another thing is, uh, just quickly talk about the uh, devs posted 1.0.4 known issues post and uh, what are they working on to, to fix, uh, what to change and uh, note that summoners are gonna get some love, that's what we said. What is that gonna do? I have no idea. So to start off the build that I was doing, I kind of wanted to, to play like a Righteous Fire build so the thing that reminds me of that is Bulwark of Dawn uh, which is you cast a, a buff around you, well actually in order to cast it around you, you need uh, you need this node. Uh, it basically turns into <laughs> like a righteous fire. Of course, you do need another one that deals the damage. Maybe like um, increasing UE would be nice, but there isn't any. Also increasing all resistances and it also heals. Instead of like draining your life like a righteous fire in Battle of Exile, this one heals you. Uh, my life is currently bugged and it's not showing properly, but you run around, hit enemies with um, sacred damage, but because I have uh, fire and lighting damage to my spells, I'm actually applying shock and uh, burn, and uh, that's my most damage is coming from the burn. I also have a plague burst, I have been experimenting and the plague burst basically explodes enemies uh, making the clean speed a bit smoother and, and, and faster, but Plague Burst on itself doesn't like give any damage to a single target. So this build has a lot of issues, let's say, in, in higher levels because I can run level 60, 64, 68 just fine, but past 70 I start lacking a lot of damage and it just takes too too long to clear uh, clear normal enemy packs. I can still do like level 90 zone, but that's not really pleasant and the single target is doable, it just not fast and this build works best if you can clear enemies fast because you just cast a skill you run through them you apply multiple burning and shock stacks and you keep running and the enemies just degen and, and and die i don't really have any ways to increase my damage more but i still need a ring like to proliferate the uh, ailments uh unique but i'm not expecting to get that but other than that there isn't much i can do with the passive skill to, to increase my damage more i feel like most of the builds after the next patch gonna feel like that because once the bleeding edge is gonna get nerfed most of the builds are gonna feel low damage because the game is just not balanced yeah you know that i don't know it's fine if you want to just farm productivity in lower uh, level zones uh, and you can get like uh, 900 product well depends on your uh, investment into productivity but i was getting like 900 productivity per uh, uh, untainted run or whatever it's called and it takes like uh, less than four minutes if you're rushing but uh, yeah i'm gonna be reworking this build uh, actually this build started as a summoner pl plus uh, turret skill whatever it's called what is it called avengers turret skill because i love this kind of playstyle like serious sam style uh, you hold massive uh, turret and just shoot into the enemies and uh, I'm gonna be redoing the build and I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a video about it or not. But the next topic about the golems. So the way you get golems is actually you need uh, uh, to upgrade it one of the town management systems. Uh, in the Anarak laboratory uh, you get the unlock the second duplicate skill. Uh, well actually first duplicate skill. But you can unlock the second duplicate skill which is gonna allow you to have three golems. Um, but it's actually pretty expensive but it they do share the cooldown so the duplicate skills have pretty limited use uh, they do share the cooldown but it doesn't matter because they, you just summon them and you have them I'm actually not entirely sure if it is a bug or not you can never know with Olsen uh, it, I, is it possible to have like two golems or three golems like that or not but if it is not a bug then here's another thing that makes golems like and this really OP this node a portion of the damage received by you is transmitted to the summon. And when you have two of them and you get decent amount of resistances, you're basically immortal. And on top of that, I also have the node Dire Juncture. You basically take 40% of the damage from initial hits and the rest you take over one second. One second after the hit. Uh, uh, which is, by the way, very annoying against knockbacks because you get knocked back twice. Extremely annoying. Uh, but uh, yeah, you basically take that node, 
you may also get the tenet node and also the node from siege breakers to increase your resistances from the base armor uh, from the body armor and from the helmet uh, so you do need some beefy ors body armor and the helmet uh, and then you just get decent amount of resistances and i currently don't have that much uh, material I have between like 47 and 53 and the uh, other ones uh, like 57 and uh, I'm very tanky I'm actually very surprised how tanky I am and the golems even without the golem without the minion investment I, I actually avoided all the minions nodes that I could I basically took what I had to take like minion attack speed uh, to, to get to this one and then to this one to make them slightly bit tankier actually got two of these nodes and uh, May never really die if you're using the tanky ones, the ones that have like hundreds of thousands of health. Uh, my current minions are level 62 and we have 293,000 health. And that's actually inaccurate because it's not really uh, scaling these nodes. Like you, you get increased minion health, but it doesn't change. So we actually have probably more like 400,000, maybe even more. So may never really die. And you also heal them with the Bulwark of Dawn. So if they even even if they take damage and, and don't region fast enough, you can still heal them with the skill. So they are very tanky, makes you very tanky, and it's a pretty nice, uh, well, I guess alternative way of mitigating damage. But unfortunately, I don't really have damage to be able to deal with uh, stronger enemies. So I just wanted to make this uh, quick video and uh, talk about how to make this tanky and how, how it's even possible to have multiple minions. Uh, and another thing, this is a post made a couple hours ago, uh, three hours ago. Uh, this this is not a patch notes, but this is uh, from known issues in the current patch. And uh, they are fixing lots of uh, things, a lot of passive nodes, I'm not even sure exactly what's not working in the mentioned uh, nodes, but lots of, lots of passive nodes, lo lots of big nodes uh, are gonna be fixed, I assume, hopefully not without breaking anything else and uh, this makes me happy summoners need some love and they will have some some huh <laughs> we'll see how much that sum is but uh, some of these may not be applied in 105 uh, but it may also be in 106 also another important thing uniques can be altered is a known issue it seems so in the future you will not be able to turn uh, uniques into legendaries which is really cool and probably the only good bug because currently uniques are kind of shit in high levels you're not going to be using like uh, this unique like what why would you use that for example or some of the uniques or most of the uniques don't really scale with level like look at that i got level 100 uh, item level 100 sword and the same one item level 49 and they are exactly the same the item level 100 is not any better than the lower level so uniques are kind of bad and this was enabling uniques to be at least usable in, in uh, higher levels but uh, once we fix that I assume no one's gonna be using like worse uniques and I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the current uniques that were turned into legendaries maybe they're gonna be reverted back or maybe just completely deleted so make sure you prepare some alternative items in case it got, gets deleted also a funny thing turns out even crash reports had some <laughs> issues <laughs> <laughs> the game is so buggy that even crash reports are, is, is bugged <laughs> which is kind of funny I'm gonna wait for the patch and probably do the another video after the patch if they're gonna actually do something about minions and um, also I, I'm doing a lot of other testings with other builds I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a video about those um, let me know if you are interested in seeing more Volsen videos because I don't know I mean, people have bad opinion about Wilson and uh, for uh, right reasons, but um, yeah, basically let, let me know if you want to see more Wilson videos. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.